looking ahead to 2020, mm -hmm. or I guess it would be 2022. For the next gubernatorial yeah, race. Gubernatorial yeah, race. Yeah, open seat. Um, who would you see, assuming uh, that the incumbent, Kate Brown, wins election this time? Right. Who do you see running in uh, 2022? First thing you do is you always look at other statewide offices. So you look out there and say, okay, is um, uh, Ellen Rosenblum, our attorney general, thinking of running? Um, is our state treasurer thinking of running? Remember, Ted Wheeler, who was the state treasurer, was expected to run in 2018. The Kids Hopper thing happened and everybody's plans changed. But you look for those statewide offices out there. Uh, second thing you do is you then look and see, is there somebody else who's known for something? I keep waiting, for instance, for somebody who's big and high tech here in Washington County to come through and say, hi, I'm the business guy, you know, moderate whatever, who's going to come in and do this. We haven't really seen that since Tom Bruguer came very close to beating uh, Gordon Smith in 1996 for the U.S. Senate. It's been a long time. Alan Alley uh, tried. Alan Alley tried, but he had a hard time getting out of the primaries. That was his problem. And then when he got in, it turned out he was not very good on the stump. He just, high tech doesn't play well outside of the high tech area. So, but, but it's, I, I keep expecting somebody to come out like that. Uh, who that might be, I don't know. And if worse comes to worse, um, you know, Chris Dudley came within 20,000 votes of being our governor. So try a former trailblazer. I don't know who it would be, but what the heck.